What's up guys? Today's video we are doing a Taco Bell mukbang to try their returning double decker tacos. I am so excited. Whenever I saw this I actually gasped because I feel like the double decker taco was so iconic and I don't know why they took it away. I honestly don't even know how long it's been gone but they have officially returned it today and we are trying it. So I'm gonna read you guys the description that they have on the app because it's kind of a sleigh. It's a little bit long so if you want to skip through it it, I understand or if you want to like pause it and read it yourself because my voice is kind of annoying I get it <laughs> but okay so it says taco bunk beds the double decker taco is like the bunk bed of tacos a crunchy taco sits on a bed of warm refried beans while the flour tortilla sits underneath I like to imagine these unique taco siblings sharing a bedroom and they each chose their bunk based on personality the crunchy taco is probably a bit more adventurous a committed risk taker always facing the possibility that that it might wake up in the middle of an eight foot fall onto a thin pile of half read comic books. On the flip side, the flour tortilla with beans is relaxed. It may come off as lazy, but in actuality, it chose the lower bunk because it knows it has a quicker route out the front door in the morning. Do other people read these descriptions? I don't know, but I thought that was pretty clever. And then I think I'm gonna get a few items as well, just to make this a little Taco Bell mukbang, give you guys a little update on the house situation. So yeah, let's go ahead and pop into the drive-thru. Hi, can I get the double-decker taco, please? Double-decker taco Yes, could I also do the double-decker taco supreme? And then I'll do a side of nacho fries. Nacho fries, okay. And then a side of nacho, or yeah, chips and nacho cheese. Okay. And then I'll do two of the Cinnabon Delights. Okay. And that's gonna be it. You want the one pack with two in there, right? Yes. Okay. Everything on your screen looks right? Yes. Need any sauce? I'll do some hot sauce, please. All right, it's one up there, it's definitely one up there. Okay, thank you. Okay, I kind of think I should have added a side of like chipotle sauce or something. Ooh, I don't want to ask at the window though, because then they'd have to add it to the order, but maybe I'll ask. So I did not do eyeliner with my makeup today, because honestly, I was just not in the mood. Trying to do eyeliner is so much work for me, because I absolutely suck at it. So it just takes a long time, and I was like, you know what, I don't really want to do it today, because I had to take Mello to his grooming appointment this morning and pick him up which is 30 minutes one way so it's like two hours total of driving back and forth long story short didn't want to do my eyeliner and I feel like I've done my eyeliner so much in the past few videos that I look weird do you guys ever do that where you do your makeup a certain way for so long and then you change it up and then you just look weird to yourself that's how I feel right now but hopefully I don't look weird to you guys hey. hi how's it going hey, oh thank you Okay. Thank you, you too. Alright you guys, we secured our Taco Bell bag. Okay, so I am super excited about these tacos. Also, there is a Cracker Barrel. I don't know if you guys can see it. There's a Cracker Barrel right beside of this Taco Bell. Should I try Cracker Barrel? A lot of you guys have told me that you want to see me try Cracker Barrel on a video. But the thing is, I've actually had Cracker, Cracker Barrel. <laughs> A little bit of a tongue twister not really but i just struggle to talk i've tried cracker barrel before and i got so sick i think i've just had it one time yeah i was incredibly sick for like the next two days stomach wise it was not a good situation and ever since then i was like you know what i think i'm a pass on cracker barrel but this camera i've had a lot of you guys ask me to try it so maybe i'll do it for a video okay this angle is just gonna have to do i'm planning on getting a new camera very soon so i can start using my tripod again i'm just waiting to get all of these house purchases out of the way because i'm currently buying a lot for the new house it's just a lot of money coming out i don't really want to buy a new camera right now since this one works but it's coming because i feel like not having a tripod just makes the videos a lot more chaotic, which I try to kind of cut out the chaotic parts as much as possible. Anyways, okay, here is our Taco Bell bag. I'm going to get the table out as well so we have somewhere to kind of put everything. I actually need to back up my passenger side. Give me one second. A few moments later. Okay, I think we are good. So this Taco Bell smells absolutely amazing. I am so freaking excited. Okay, what do we got? We got some delicious nacho fries. Ooh, they really stuffed these up too. Oh my gosh. 
Wow. We got our chips. I wanted to get a lot of sides because, you know, side queen over here. Cinnabon Delight had to get me a little sweet treat after we eat these savory items. We got lots of hot sauce, which gotta remember to use. We got lots of fries in the bag. Mmm. Okay, now for our double decker tacos. We got double decker taco number one. This is the non supreme kind. And then we have the supreme version. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited about this. These are about to be so good. Oh, I wonder if you could get the double decker tacos with the DLT shell. I'm sure you can because you can do that with the cheesy gordita crunch. I didn't even think to do it with this one, but they look really delicious. Okay, so I just got the table set up really quickly and then I dipped my first double decker taco into the nacho cheese. I'm gonna try it like this first. We'll try it without the cheese as well though. Okay, it does taste very similar to the cheesy gordita crunch, except obviously the shell on the outside is thinner and you get that refried bean flavor because instead of it being kind of pasted together with cheese, it's got the refried beans on the inside, but super delicious. We're gonna try it with some hot sauce. Mmm. Okay, yeah, with the hot sauce, so good. I usually get Diablo sauce, but the first thing that came to my mind was hot sauce, so. I just said hot sauce. These are fabulous, though. I think these are really good if you like refried beans. Mm, these fries with the nacho cheese, my favorite. My goodness, these are so good today. They're super hot. Cheese is really hot. I almost got a Baja Blast, but I did bring water with me. Now I'm kind of regretting not getting Baja Blast. Unfortunately, they didn't have any new freezes. Otherwise, I would have got a freeze, but they still have those like strawberry cherry ones or whatever they are. Okay, so look at the inside. So much beans and beef. Okay, I must say, this was a very good choice today. Hopefully you guys are excited about the double decker return. <laughs> as much as I am. I actually don't know how much people actually care about these, but I think they're pretty iconic. So I, I was like, yes, we gotta get over to Taco Bell and get these. I honestly don't remember what they tasted like before. It has been a very, very long time since I've last had a double decker taco. But they're still very good. I know when the Mexican pizza returned, a lot of people said it tasted or maybe it was like assembled a lot differently than what it was when it first came out. But at the same time though, I feel like no returning item is gonna be exactly the same like how it was when it first came out, you know? Okay, so let me give you guys a little update on the house because a lot of y'all have been asking me, where is the house tour? We need a house tour. The house tour is coming.
hopefully soon i just don't know exactly when because the main thing that i'm waiting on for the house tour is the blinds i don't really want to do a tour of the house without blinds because there's so many windows very big open windows so you can clearly see pretty much everything outside and it just feels a little bit too revealing not having blinds so that's kind of like what i'm waiting on i was waiting on a lot of our furniture to come most of the furniture has gotten here except for a few things and now it's just like the blinds So basically with the blinds, they said that they would be ready the first week of December. Or no, I think they said that they should probably be ready the first week of December. Whenever we first contacted them, we got like the consultation scheduled. So they came and measured the windows for the blinds. And we picked out the ones that we wanted. And then they have to actually order the blinds and it's like a two to three week turnaround for the blinds to come in and then once the blinds come in they can then schedule the appointment to have them installed so the blinds have not arrived yet i guess it's just taken some time at this point though i think it's been like three weeks three weeks or more so i'm kind of like <laughs> I really want to get these blinds in. Okay, now we're going to try the Double Decker Supreme. Mmm. That bite didn't really have much sour cream or tomatoes in it, so I think I kind of need to get in there. These are so good with the hot sauce, though. Hot sauce is a must. Got a little fuzzy. <laughs> Ooh, I should not have worn these pants. I wore my favorite flared leggings and they're like a navy blue color. Stains are always so hard to get out of clothes. <laughs> I suck at getting stains out. Anyways, yeah, back to the house. That's a little bit of an update. I appreciate you guys being patient. Most of y'all, <laughs> some of y'all are like, where's the house tour? But I get it. Yeah, I, I'm sorry it's taking so long. I feel like I announced that we were buying a house a long time ago, but it honestly wasn't even that long. Listen, y'all, it takes a while to get settled into a new house, and I know a lot of y'all don't mind seeing, like, an empty house tour or a house tour where things are just kind of all over the place but i really want to show it to you guys when i have a lot of stuff in place so you kind of get the vibe of what we're going for i still plan on making a second channel as well it's just so hard finding the time so i'm kind of like is it really worth it to do a second channel will i have the time to keep up with it i just don't know <laughs> i don't know i don't know if i'm you know, signing myself up for something I can't keep up with. Obviously, if you want to do something bad enough, you will make time for it. Okay? So just remember that. <laughs> okay, I'm getting to a point of, like, salty satisfaction that I want to dive into these Cinnabon Delights. But I still have so many fries left. <laughs> I got a lot of food today. I feel like I always go all out at Taco Bell when I haven't had it in a while. Like I gotta get one of everything. Also kind of ransom, but I will say living in a neighborhood is so strange. There's just a lot that I'm not used to. The amount of people that come knocking on our door for the most random stuff. Actually, for example, today, I was getting ready for the day because I try to get ready in the morning time before like I start my day, before I start work. That way when my lunch break hits, I'm ready to film. So I was getting ready, it was super early. I 
I just got back from taking Melo to the groomer and half of my hair was curled, the other half wasn't, and I hear a doorbell ring. And the thing is, is that where my room is, you can see outside and you can see inside. So I couldn't like not go to the door, which I don't, I always answer the door regardless, but I felt a little bit awkward because half of my hair was done. But I was like, oh, it, it should be something fast. Like maybe it's just someone dropping off like, I don't know their business card because we get business cards all the time for people who like clean houses or just do house related stuff they always like drop their flyer by so I go to the door <laughs> looking like a hot mess it's these two older gentlemen dressed in suits and they start talking about honestly I don't even know like I didn't even really understand what they were saying they said something like they were with a ministry and they wanted to talk about everything that's going on in the world and how there's so much crime going on these days and like how to prepare for crime in the world and i was like whoa it is the morning time half of my hair is done the other half is not like what are we doing here i didn't say that out loud but that's what i was thinking so they go on this whole spill and then they're like so what do you think about that I didn't even know what to say. I was just like, well, I'm kind of in a whole different other headspace right now. <laughs> I'm currently getting ready for the day. I don't have a whole lot of time, so I'm not sure that like now is the best time to talk about this. And they were like, oh, okay, well, what's your name? We'll come back. I don't know, it was just very weird. Like to me, maybe it's just my generation that is just different because most of the people who live in our neighborhood are retired. So I'm like, maybe they have all the time in the day to just chit chat with people in their doorway, but girlie's got a packed schedule. <laughs> like chit chatting is a luxury that I do not have. Yeah, we just get so many random people at our door. You know, living in an apartment, you don't ever get people at your door. So it's just been like a big adjustment. <laughs> Okay, um, this table is a hot mess. Wow. I don't even know what's going on here. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so before I dive into these Cinnabonza lights, and we also have a giveaway for this video that I'm gonna be telling you guys about. I'm super excited. Hopefully a lot of you guys will be interested in kind of entering it, but yeah, I'm gonna get to the giveaway. And the Cinnabon Delights, I just wanna give you guys kind of final thoughts on the Double Decker Taco. Cheesy Gordita Crunch, I definitely prefer that. Cheesy Gordita Crunch is absolutely delicious. I would totally get that over this Double Decker Taco. But if you like refried beans, I think in that situation, it would be good to get this instead of the cheesy gordita crunch because as far as some of these napkins out of the way dang girl you are gross <laughs> as far as i know yeah the cheesy gordita crunch does not have refried beans on it i do like the shell though the you know kind of thinner shell is nice but also that thick shell on the cheesy gordita crunch is that thing is heavenly Mm. Okay. Now I have no napkin. Yeah, I'd rate those probably like a 6 out of 10. Is that a low rating? I don't know, but that's kind of what I'm feeling. Okay, Cinnabon's Delights. Ooh, I'm so excited for these. Mmm. These are the best dessert ever. Ooey gooey goodness. I love it. Okay, so I just got the table cleaned up. Let's talk about this giveaway. So I wanted to do something special for you guys this Christmas. Just 
as my way of saying thank you for all of your support and love this year. I've had such an amazing time on YouTube in 2023 and I just wanted to do something fun. So we are doing a Gucci bag giveaway. Now this is a bag that I bought from Fashion File last year actually in December and it is a very small bag so if you are not into small bags I do apologize. Hopefully I can do another giveaway in the future that is more kind of catered to anybody. But yeah, this is the Gucci bag that I am giving away. It's a cute little shoulder bag moment. It's actually very roomy though. It just opens up with a zip and then this is the inside. So you can fit a full size phone. Any phone will fit in here. A wallet, keys, lip gloss. Pretty much all your essentials will fit in this bag. And then it also has a D ring right here that you can clip something to or you could like put a cute little chain on here. You can kind of dress it up however you want but yeah it is an authentic Gucci bag I bought it from fashion file and everything from fashion file is authenticated I'm gonna try it on for you guys so y'all can kind of see what it looks like but yeah it just kind of fits you know underneath it's like a tight shoulder bag but it's just a super cute little you know glimpse of Gucci pretty low-key I mean it is printed you know it has like the GG monogram, but I do feel like it's a cute little low-key bag. It is a vintage, I believe it's a vintage bag. I don't quite remember what year it's from. Here is the bag up close on this side, and then here's this side. It does have one little spot right here. That's the only spot on here, and it actually came that way whenever I got it from Fashion File. But yeah, it's just a cute little shoulder bag, so if you are into shoulder bags, this is perfect for you. I just think it's super adorable. I just thought somebody else would get more use out of it. So if you want to enter to win this Gucci bag, all you have to do is of course be subscribed to me here on YouTube, follow me on Instagram, which is at Sue, and then comment on this video and let me know what you want to see next year the most from me. It can be a very particular video idea. It can just be general videos that you want to see more of, whether that's mukbangs or food challenges. Let me know what you want to see the most of next year. And then the winner will be picked on YouTube. So I'm going to reply to your comment letting you know that you won. And then you're going to have to give me either your Instagram handle or your email. I can delete your comment once I've got your contact information. That way it's not like public in the comments but I just need some way to contact you and I didn't want to do this fully through Instagram because I know a lot of people don't have Instagram so I will message the winner on YouTube in the comment section letting you know that you won please respond to me as soon as possible I'm gonna be choosing the winner okay the winner will be announced on the 18th so a full week and a day that way I can ship it out and it will hopefully get to you by Christmas either before Christmas or before New Year so that's when the winner will be announced keep in mind a lot of spam profiles will try to get your information in the YouTube comments so anybody that I reply to it will have my handle which is Daisy Sue and a check mark so if you see someone replying to you trying to get your information and they don't have a check mark or if they have some weird username that is not me so please be aware and vigilant of scams because there are a lot of scammers on YouTube in the comment section I'll try to do my best to like remove those comments that way you don't accidentally get tricked but just make sure you know my profile has a check mark but yeah that's all you have to do to enter I'm super excited for it hopefully you guys are I don't know interested in entering for its little Gucci bag even if you have a kid this would be so cute for a little kid okay well I love you guys so so much thank you all for watching please drop a thumbs up down below and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys